nobody wants to be flushed. Well, I mean, take. I was talking to the boss, and he's bringing up the Harrison Bryce Harper situation yesterday, and his belief, which is very interesting, and and I'm not sure where I stand on it currently, but he's like, hey, finally, like a month ago, you got punked by Philly. They, you came into their house and they they kicked the crowd out of you, and you felt levels below them. And the best player in the game, or one of the best players in the game, is Bryce Harper. And, yeah, even though he's having a rough outing yesterday and, and the game didn't go the way it wanted uh, for him yesterday, Kyle Harrison is not going to back down to Bryce Harper. And the team's not going to back down to him. And he's like, that's what I've been wanting. I've been wanting swagger. Wow. I want to show, you know, I want this team to show me that they're going to punch back. And he was really excited and encouraged that the kid was willing to, to fight back in his own little way. Well, that's what he just said in the office. No, Bonte, uh, you keep talking swagger. You watch swagger, flair. Well, this Harrison kid, he didn't back down for Bryce Harper. He didn't back down from him. And that's cool. And I say that's cool. And I wonder how many fans felt Kyle Harrison in that moment and how cool it was to say, yo, I'm not backing down to you, Bryce. I'm going to pitch it up and in. You're going to yell at me to say throw it over the freaking plate, and I'm going to go up and in again. I'm going to go up and yep. in again. Now, was it a control issue? Did he know what he was doing? And that's all good. You can't be no puck. And I, I respect that. That is swagger. That is toughness. But I'm getting older now, Shasky. And all that stuff is secondary to me. Yes, I want swagger. I want toughness. I want some. I'm going to go after uh -huh. you. I'm going to strike you. I'm going up and in. I don't care who you are in the box. It could be Bryce Harper, Barry Bonds. I don't give a damn. I respect that attitude from a young 22-year-old. But you also got to pitch better, all right? And moving forward, that's all fine and dandy. But we're going to be watching how you control those emotions in the future. I'm not talking about pitching long-term and whether you're giving me seven shutout innings. I'm saying when you get on that rubber, you got to keep that same energy every single start, but you got to start getting outs. Because once you don't get outs and you start pulling this stuff and you're going up and in on the Bryce Harper to the world, then all of a sudden people look at you a little crazier and all that little tough guy stuff goes out the window. So but but he gets props for that. Did the mad bum experience where he used to do that as Mr. Policeman, did that wear thin on you? It did because it felt borderline racist at times. And then obviously it just became a thing with him. And I was just like, bum, got to get your ass back on the rubber. Like you gave up a home run to Max Muncy and they went 450 feet. And you're yelling at people to run the bases. <laughs> no, they run the bases how they run the bases. You know, Carlos Gomez, I'll never forget Carlos Gomez Foul one off, right? He's with the Brewers. Yeah. Facing the bad bump. Fouls one off. He was the center fielder. The center fielder. Yeah. You know, he was hot yeah. He was yeah. crazy. He was my time crazy, though. He, he, he gave you everything he had, but he was a nut. He starts cursing himself out over a foul ball. And Bob Runner starts yelling at him. Get in the box. And Carlos Gomez is like, who the hell are you? It got old quick with Bob Garner. That stuff gets old when you do it over and over and over again. That situation, Bryce Harper's yelling back at him saying, throw a strike. You know, throw it over the freaking plate. I'm paraphrasing. Kyle Harrison had every right to be like, no, screw you, dude. I'm going up and in again because he already struck out Bryce Harper. He already shoved against Bryce Harper. Who the hell are you to tell me to throw it over the plate? I'm trying to get you out. I'm doing whatever I got to do to get you out. I'm in survival mode in this inning. I got to get out of the inning. I didn't keep this team in the game. So Kyle Harrison does get props. But I do wonder how it resonated with Giants fans yesterday that he did stand up to Bryce Harper, a guy who... You know, obviously he spurred the Giants and tied with the Phillies and has been known to have beef with other pitchers, including Hunter Strickland here with the Giants and starting brawls, which is what, nine, eight, seven years ago to the day yesterday in which he started that brawl with uh, Hunter Strickland throwing the helmet the other yeah. way and fighting with Hunter Strickland and catching one on the chin. But I wonder how Giants fans feel about Harrison doing that. I, I do. Does that make you like Harrison even more? Uh, Well, to me, I, I was just, I like that he didn't back down. I mean, that's definitely something. I just I'm very um I think that he's in a he's in a, an odd spot right now uh overall but that particular moment I don't think it moved me the way it moved our boss it didn't move me that way no I liked it I got a good chuckle out of it but at the end of the day I'm like yeah but they're looking at you as like barbecue chicken right now dude like it's one That's thing if you're in you know a 4-4 game or something like that and and it's heated or even if it's in August or September I, I love that the Giants have punched back, but at the same time, I'm also looking at the big picture, and I might be too zoomed in on this thing. I I don't know, but I didn't see that as some, like, giant statement that we're going up against Philly and we're not going to back down. Yeah. To me, it was a guy in the moment like, nah, dude, like, I'm going to throw up and in. I'm good with that, and I liked it, but 
I still see that the young guy has a lot of growth, but I love the competitive fire yeah. in him. Again, I, I, I and, I, and as I, <clears throat> pardon me, as I just stated, it may not matter if you start getting rocked around. You go to Arizona, you get lit up. You get lit up by the Rangers. You get lit up by the Cubs. All that, hey, yeah, you stood up to Bryce Harper. Nobody cares. The bottom line is you have to get results. Now, you may win over people in that clubhouse and you're a fiery uh -huh. guy, but you're also only 22 years old. And this is your first trip around the big leagues. You got to earn that respect. You know, when you do that to Bryce Harper, and I heard FP yesterday with Willard and Dibbs, and he said it. Look, man, when you go up and in like that, you're playing with people's lives. There's no You know question. what I said? You're playing with well, you people can, don't want to be hit in the face. Here's Bryce they Harper. don't want to lose a season. They don't want to lose a season. They don't. And he goes, you know, Bryce Harper's like, yeah, I wasn't really that bad. And I know Harrison wasn't trying to do it, but look, it's not fun when you get hit in the face. You get hit in the face, man. It's just it's not fun. So, it's bad. Asked if uh, he cleared the, air with, cleared the air with Harrison. He didn't mean to. You know, singers out. He didn't mean to. He didn't mean to. He Interesting. Mean to. Bryce, um, Bryce kind of drives me crazy. I mean, he's so talented. He's so good. I can't keep my eyes off him when he's on my television screen. But there's just a lot with him. He, he's very, he's got a Luca quality to him where it's all about him and the hair. And when he makes an out, it's like, I should have hit a 500 foot home run. I don't know. There's just, there's the a intensity. flamboyance to him. I do love it though. No, he's great. He's great for television. And he's lived up to the hype. No question. Let's be real. We've been knowing about this guy since he was at Juco. He's also a Philly. He's a 16 year old. And I hate the Phillies. Yeah, no, I can't say the Phillies, but he, in that market, he's a rock star. Oh, he's perfect. He's a rock star. We told, who do we talk to? Was it Dubas? Yeah. We said, he is number one. And we talked to another guy in yeah. Philly. I think who it was like, Spike Eskin. Oh, Spike also. Eskin said he was the number yeah. one guy in Philadelphia right now. That's pretty because incredible. Because of the W, you know, when he brought up Chuck and yeah. Chuck on WIP, who we found out Chuck was a bozo. He's one of their worst callers. And it's like, that's the best you got. Chuck came on this show and got roasted real quick. That bum. <laughs> Jeez. Can't wait to play play the Eagles again. He's, what a bum he was, Chuck in Philadelphia. I mean, look, I just anyway, think when we talk about this little moment, though, Bonte, when we talk about this moment, Think of the stakes and how high they were in the NLCS when it's Johnny Sanchez and Chase Utley. Yep. Think about the Bryce Harper, Hunter Strickland thing. Like that was because the year before they were in the playoffs and right. they went up against each other. And Hunter the Strickland stakes was were pretty up, high. <laughs> he was giving up 700, 700 feet I mean, that ball. Nukes. <laughs> was that a day, a day game playoff game? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. That, game three. that ball yeah, was game absolutely three. nuked. Was so, so, like, I, I love the boss, right? I love right. the boss. But, like, Giants fans, the stakes were so high. As you talk about right. stakes were far. Think of all these other real, right. like, miscues. And seeing Bumgarner do it for so many years, where it's like, dog, you're getting tagged. You're angry at Puig because he launched one out? Right. Get him out. Right. You know, get him out. So, I don't know. Like, I liked it. I got a good smile. But it didn't move me the way it moved the boss. No, it's, you know. I wonder how many Giants fans it moved. Yeah, no, I don't I don't know if it moved anybody. Because not, not a lot of my Giants buddies felt. Oh. They didn't, they didn't care about that. They're, they What they cared was, is Harrison the real deal? Do you remember any Lincecum moment where he hit someone intentionally or, you know, threw up and in on someone intentionally and, and it got spicy? I don't remember. I don't, all. I don't either. I, I don't can't recall, recall it at all. I can't recall it at all. Guys just got outs. I mean, to me, just he's guys just got outs. And I think league wide, Bryce Harper commands a lot more respect right now. And it's not even close yeah. to Kyle Harrison. Yeah. We don't know Kyle Harrison yet. We really are just now getting to know him. At the big league level. He's a rookie. And I get it. Him standing up to Bryce Harper. Cool. Great. You went up and in. But you also played. I also saw somebody, Dennis Martinez, in Kirby Puckett's career. We got cheated out of Kirby but, Puckett's entire career. But I but I do think that the 22-year-old is trying to make a statement in that I'm not going to back down. Right. And, and I do fine. think that that does resonate with the young, the other guys on this team. It does. But I, I have highlighted the one thing, and I keep bringing this up. You ask me what's so important about Kyle Harris, and I say the resiliency. Yes. Because he's getting tacked. He's getting knocked around early in games, but he's hanging in there. He's giving you five, and he's keeping you in the baseball game. Even yesterday, 4 nothing lead. We just watched the Giants come back three straight games from four-run deficits. They're able to do that. Now, Lamont Wade Jr.'s out. That's impacting the offense, no doubt about that. But we have seen them rally from four-run deficits yeah. three times in the last week alone. It's true. So he's keeping you in baseball games. But I'm also watching the pitcher saying, boy, he it feels like he's in survival mode, mode from the first pitch of the game. I mean, he's walking guys. He's giving up hits. So, yeah, you could be a tough guy. You could be up and in. You could tell Bryce Harper to get his ass back in the box. That's all fine and dandy. But you also got to produce. And that's where Giants fans are knowledgeable saying, you know what? 
Yeah, that's great. You, you tried to check Bryce Harper. Bitch is cleared, whatever. Phillies are still better than us. They got the win today, and you gave up 12 hits in five innings. I feel like Giants fans are feeling like that as opposed to, yay, he stood up to Bryce Harper. Yay, Bryce Harper's a crybaby. Yeah, who is Bryce? Blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. It's, Harrison, you need to pitch better. It's straight up. I, I, I admire your toughness. I admire you not being a punk. Is that showing me some swagger, some moxie? Yeah, sure, absolutely. Good. I, I, look, yeah. I, I do like that. But I also would like you to not give up 12 hits in five innings. I would also like to see you get past the fifth inning. You got four straight starts where you only went five. Well, let me let me take it a step further. When they did have the benches clear, the two guys that were in the mix more than anyone weren't the players. It was Matty Williams and, and, Pat, Burrell. and Pat Burrell. Yeah, I know. It was the two coaches. <laughs> you know, like Kirk Asali, I'll give Kirk Asali credit. He did not pull a Buster Posey. He didn't just stand there and let it happen right. and then jog after the fact. Kirk Asali got right into right. A Bryce Harper was like, no, 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 right. we're not going to let this happen. So, so Ball Smith's talking about swagger. No, Bryce Harper's got the swagger. I mean, yes. For him to sit there and yell at somebody, throw it over the plate. That gave me Parkman advice from Major League. It's like, damn, Bryce, stop playing around. Well, me, so yelling at the kids and throw the damn ball over the Monson, plate. There's been times where I've been out in the field and I'm telling our pitcher, can you just throw some strikes? <laughs> See? <laughs> uh, so trust me, right. I get that. Like, right. throw some strikes. And so you want to talk about there. swagger, the headband, the hair, the gloves, the eye black. The tapered pants the, showing the, the socks. The tapered pants, the socks. The white the Under Armour shoes. I mean, he's just swagger.